Want to start using the Blue Sky Social app, but not sure how? I'm Jessica, and this video will be our beginner's guide to using Blue Sky, where you'll learn all the basics of using the app. Now let's get started. If you haven't downloaded the Blue Sky app or made an account yet, check out these two tutorials to learn how. Once you've set up your Blue Sky account, you can start finding your friends or celebrities and brands you want to follow. Tap the search icon in the bottom menu. You can then browse suggested accounts to follow or search for someone specific. Type in the name of a person or company you want to find in the search bar at the top. Then tap People to view accounts that match your search. Keep in mind that Blue Sky is fairly new, so some people may not have started using the platform yet. If you find an account you want to follow, tap Follow beside their name. Once you follow someone, you'll see their posts in your following feed in the Homepage tab. By default, the two feeds you'll see on your homepage are Discover and Following. The Discover feed will show you posts that Blue Sky's algorithm thinks you'll like. The more you use the app, the better tailored your Discover feed will be. This works similarly to other social apps like the For You page on TikTok. Tap the hashtag icon in the top right corner to see more feeds you can follow. Here you'll see a list of recommended custom feeds such as popular with friends, mutuals, and specific topic-related feeds like science, art, and news. You can search for curated feeds to follow by typing a topic into the search bar. If you find a feed you're interested in, tap the plus side beside its name to follow it. Scroll up to the top to see your list of feeds. Tap Edit in the top right corner to reorder your feeds. Use the up and down arrows to put your Blue Sky feeds into the order you want them to appear on your home screen. If you want to follow a feed but not have it listed at the top of your home page, tap the pin icon beside a feed to unpin it. When you're happy with the order of your pinned feeds, tap Save. You'll then see all of your pinned feeds at the top of your homepage, listed in the order you specified. When scrolling through your Blue Sky feeds, you can interact with other users' posts that you come across. Tap the heart icon to like a post. If you'd like to reply to a post, tap the speech bubble icon. You can then write what you'd like to comment and tap reply to post it. Replies are publicly visible and will appear on your own Blue Sky profile. To share a post onto your own page, tap the Repost button. You can then repost it as is, or quote the post to add your own comment to go with it. If you tap the three dots at the bottom of a post, you can find more options to translate the text, share it, hide a post, block the account that posted it, or report a post. To create your own post on Blue Sky, tap the New Post icon in the bottom right corner. Then you can type a post up to 300 characters long. You can use the options below to attach a photo or video from your device, snap a new photo using the camera, or add a fun GIF. If you tap Anybody Can Interact, you can customize the settings for this post. Choose if you want to allow replies from everybody, nobody, only mentioned users, or only people you follow. Then tap Save. When you're finished crafting your post, tap Post in the top right corner to share it. Once you've shared some posts on Blue Sky, you'll likely have others interacting with your posts. Tap the notification bell icon in the bottom menu to check your notifications. Here you'll see when people have followed you or interacted with your posts through likes, replies, and reposts. Tap the speech bubble icon in the bottom menu to get to the Blue Sky Messaging tab. Here you can have conversations with your friends on Blue Sky. To start a new conversation, tap the blue plus sign. Then choose which friend you want to chat with. 
Here you can type messages to your friend and share Blue Sky posts. If you tap the settings icon in the top right corner of your inbox, you can customize direct message settings to decide who you want to allow new messages from. And if you want notification sounds enabled or disabled. To configure other Blue Sky settings, tap the menu icon in the top left corner. Then select Settings. Here you can personalize your account settings, privacy, app appearance, accessibility, and more. You'll also find options to log into an additional account or sign out of your account on the app. That wraps up our beginner's guide to using the Blue Sky app. If you haven't made your account yet, check out this tutorial on how to sign up for Blue Sky. Click the video on your screen now to watch. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every day.